Okay, this is a brief tutorial on printing from an H, um, from an Android device. Uh, right now, I already kind of have it already set up. Um, in here, I have my what I have is an HP printer that allows me to print email myself uh, attachments, and it'll automatically select the right type of paper and everything for it. Uh, in here I have a picture and a document that I'm going to email to the email address for my printer specifically and it should print without issue from anywhere in the world as long as you have a data connection. Um, as soon as it's done sending uh, I'll take you over to my printer which I'll show. It'll, I sent one picture and one document and here is my printer. It's completely wireless. Um, there's no cables. I mean, I think I can probably hook up a USB if I really wanted to. I just don't. And in a matter of seconds, it's printing. Uh, I'm actually out of um, colored ink, so the picture's not going to come out well, but the document should. is now printing. So that's the document. And now it's going to... Oh, I have more pages in the document. Sorry. I just thought it was only one page. And now it's going to process the picture. And it's going to automatically, since I have two trays in here, I have a photo tray and a regular paper tray. It's going to pick the photo tray automatically if I use this. And this picture is going to come out bad because I actually have like zero coloring. So I'm not really worried about the quality of the picture right now. Oh, and right. I guess my photo paper wasn't pushed all the way, but it prompted me to load the photo paper, which it was loaded, but I guess it was pushed too far back for it to catch. the fastest color printer in the world, but it automatically picked my, um, uh, was it 4 by 6 photo paper, which I, I have a stack of that I just got with some ink a while ago. But, uh, that's one option for printing wirelessly to a device using the HP ePrint software or ePrint, um, app. You can pretty much print from anywhere in the world as long as you have a data connection. Um, another option is if you want you can use printer share and that one has an app that loads onto a computer if you would like or if you have a, uh, a printer on a wireless network that you're on you can just find it and print to it automatically or if you have um, um, software onto the computer and even if it's not a, a network printer like it's a USB printer you can actually print anywhere from around the world because it'll as long as your computer is on um, that's another neat feature that is offered 
Um, another option is uh, Google Cloud Print, which I believe requires you to use Google Chrome on your computer, but essentially it works a lot like the Printer Share app. And you just print from anywhere you have a data connection. And uh, so that's the end of my brief tutorial. As you can see, the photo is coming out now. And uh, that's it.